Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're in the beautiful Graz, Austria. And although we're here to look at a couple more Christmas markets, that is not our main purpose today. Today we are here on Krampus Day and we are going to check off a major bucket list travel item for us by attending a Krampus walk. If you don't know who Krampus is, Krampus is the assistant or helper of St. Nikolaus. And St. Nikolaus is obviously the person that Santa Claus is kind of based on. He was a bishop in, I think, Turkey or at least Turkey is today during the Roman Empire. And he comes on the 6th of December and brings gifts to the kids, but he brings Krampus and Krampus beats the kids and scares them and basically makes sure that the kids are good, they always behave good, because otherwise they're gonna be beaten by Krampus instead of getting gifts from St. Nicholas. <laughs> We are here on the 5th of December, which is Krampus Day, which is one day before St. Nikolaus Day. And we're going to attend a Krampus Lauf, which is a Krampus walk, or a Krampus run, a big parade where loads of people are going to dress up as Krampus. And I think there's going to be loads of other different monsters as well. It's basically going to be Halloween on Christmas, I think. But I don't really know what to expect. I've never been to one. Super excited. It's going to be tonight, 6 p.m. And before that, we're gonna hit some Christmas markets in Graz, but can't wait. walking around the city and there was a stand selling these pretzels and they look way different than any pretzel I've ever seen in Germany or Austria because they're not like brown or red. It said they were boiled salt pretzels and it's Graz a tradition. It tastes like a normal pretzel. Maybe not as good. <laughs> okay, I can eat some, some mustard or something with it. But I like the salt on it, it's a powder. It's not rock salt like it usually is. Interesting. We are now at the Christmas market um, Tummelplatz, which is a market that mostly only has little trinkets and candles and ornaments and Christmas socks and things like that, which is super cute. There's one stand with mulled wine as well. We're now at the Glockenspiel Weihnachtsmarkt, which looks super cute and they have lots of different drinks, punches. Honestly, I didn't know that there was that many Christmas drinks. Maybe this is new, but I don't think in Germany we have that many. There's like so many different ones in Austria, especially in Graz. But yeah, this one's super cute. And there's the most amazing looking donuts. They're gigantic. I want one. We caved, we got one. Gigantic. It's snowing. I swear to God, this snow looks fake. It looks like, I don't know, like a cartoon version of what snow looks like, the way you draw it when you're a kid. It's bizarre. I honestly, I said to her, I'm like, this this is fake. This isn't snow. He was like, why is there fake snow? And I'm like, it's coming from the sky. How is it fake so snow? Weird. We are now next to the Hauptplatz Christmas Market and we're looking at a couple stands around here. They have a couple different ones serving different things like noodles and all these other things. But the thing we came here for was actually sausage or wurst. And we have two different types here. And we wanted to eat this because one of the most popular things in this region in Graz is actually this, which is horseradish or kren, they call it here. And this was one of the top things that we were meant to try. So we didn't want to leave Graz without trying it. I don't even know. How would you do this? I guess I'm going to take the wurst, take the sausage, dip it in mustard, and then have this horseradish stick to it. All right, let's give it a bite. 
Mmm. Mm hmm. See if it goes to my nose. I, I say it every time, but you cannot go wrong with a sausage. When you're in Austria and in Germany, it's delicious. This is just a typical Frankfurt or whatever, but it's really, really good. I don't think that the um, horseradish has that much of a kick or a bite. Maybe I didn't take enough. You'll have to try it as well and see. The other sausage is called Debrecina. I suppose it's probably from Hungary because Debrecen is there. The sausage is delicious. But yeah, you can't really taste the... You can smell the um, creme, the horseradish, but then you don't taste it as much. It's kind well, it's of... not strong. It doesn't have a strong burn. It's, it's like when you smell it, it like goes to your nose immediately. It's good though. Mm. We also get a local beer, which is apparently from Graz. It's called Puntagana, I guess. I don't know, I'm sure I'm butchering it. Delicious. Just tastes like a normal beer. Nothing special about it, but on a cold day like today, it's gonna warm us up. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's actually making me even more cold. So this is not super Christmassy, but we always love trying local foods and snacks. We found something called fajacates, which is a spread that's very popular here. It's made out of, I think, smoked meats and smoked bacon with lard and garlic. And yeah, you spread it on bread. So we bought this at some type of like organic farmer's store. I smeared it on some bread. I'm gonna try it. It's interesting. <laughs> it doesn't have that much flavor and it tastes just like fat. It's a bit similar to Hackepeter, which you have in German, which is raw meat, raw minced meat that we spread on bread. But it just has a lot of fat with it. The pepper on top is nice. Personally, I wouldn't want to eat a whole jar of this. <laughs> but it's nice to try. You should always try everything. It's okay. I give us like a 6.5. So we're rating things now? <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible, but... Not great, not terrible. Yeah. I'm also going to try this for Hackert. Yeah, so let's see. So in places like Poland, they actually serve lard that you can spread all over your bread. We've actually ordered that a couple times in Poland and places like Romania. And it's usually really salty, really fatty, but it's delicious. Ani hasn't convinced me if this is going to be good or not, but let's see. Mmm. I mean, it's good, but as you said, it doesn't really taste like that much. I definitely taste the pepper that seems to be sitting right on the top, but yeah, it's not super flavorsome or anything like that. I feel like this would be good spread on something with, I don't know, something in addition. Yeah, the pickles would be good, something acidic or something to bring out the flavor a little bit more, but yeah, it's not bad. Worth a try. We took the funicular up to the Schlossberg, I think that's what it's called. And now we're looking at the beautiful view of Graz, covered in snow. Magical. Mountains in the back. This is why I love this part of Austria. On weekends, there's actually a Christmas market up here on the mountain. And apparently it's one of the best ones, but somehow it's not open during the week, which is really sad. But if you're here on the weekend, you should come. There's even a little kinder Christmas market for kids. There's no mistaking that it is Krampus Day today because everywhere you go, you can see little hints of Krampus everywhere. There's been different decorations in stores that we've walked past with little Krampus ornaments and things like that. And then we also noticed that these little Krampus, I don't know, what are they? Bread figurines? <laughs> We're all in, in every bakery that we walked past and we actually bought the first one that we saw and then we continued on and we saw some that looked a little bit better, but 
It's basically just a little bread man in the shape of a Krampus. Some of them had even like tongues and stuff like that, but this one's a little bit more basic. It's pretty expensive for what it is and I'm not expecting it to be that delicious. It's very hard, feels like stale bread. That sucks. <laughs> but it's cute. I disagree. This actually tastes like Easter bread that I used to eat for Easter. Oh, my grandma used to bake, so brand is wrong. And another thing they have here is chocolate campuses in the grocery store. And I've never seen this in my life. They even had them done by Milka, which is obviously a world famous chocolate company. This one is not the Milka one, but it's kind of crazy. You can get little chocolate campuses at the grocery store. We came to Circus Wonderland, I think that's what it's called. And this is one of, I think, 14 markets in Graz, which is quite a big number, considering I think in Vienna there was also 14 markets and Graz is way smaller. And this market is super cute. It's very unique. Most of the stands are just punch and food. There's like almost no other stuff, but most of it is alcohol and it just looks really unique, a bit hipster-like, but it's very, very nice and festive. We are now at the Chris Kindlemarkt and Hauptplatz, which is in front of the city hall here. And this is a really, really cool environment. Just like one of the markets that we went to in Vienna, it's also in front of the town hall. Super beautiful. There's a carousel here as well. There's a bunch of different stands. There's food stands, of course. Then there's little stands with local alcohols and different kinds of souvenirs, ornaments, things like that. And one thing that we noticed already, we've only been here for a couple of minutes, is that the prices are actually pretty good here in comparison to what we were paying in Vienna. I think that you can get a wine for about 4.90. And the cup deposit is actually only two euros here, which I think it was, what, five euros yeah. or something like that in Vienna, which is insane. So much, much cheaper. So we're excited to look around a little bit, grab ourselves some of that mulled wine, that cheap mulled wine, and warm ourselves up. So let's let's get the show on the road. As always at every Christmas market, you have to have a hot drink, especially on a cold night like today. And this one is actually special to this region. It's called Schielsche. It's a rosé kind of wine. And of course, it's hot. I'm not sure if there's anything additional in this that makes it different from a normal mulled wine, but I guess I'll find out. Mm. Oh yeah. It's so good. I feel like no matter what, whether it's red, white, rosé, it all tastes delicious. I don't think this one is as spiced as some of the other ones. It almost has like, a, like an apple flavor. Maybe I'm crazy. You'll have to try it after too, but it's really, really delicious. It's got a little bit of tartness to it. That's why I thought kind of apple-y, but it's really hot. And since it's freezing outside, this is perfect. Can't wait to have more of these, hopefully. Mm. Mm. I think it's less sweet than normal mulled wine, but it's very delicious. I feel like it's more winey. <laughs> Like it feels like they just heated up the wine and maybe added like a tiny bit of something, but it's yummy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's not very spicy. Mm. Still warms you up, so good. So when you come to a Christmas market, obviously you always have to get roasted nuts or something. We got roasted almonds in the Vienna video because that's what I grew up with, but here we got roasted pumpkin seeds and I've never seen this before and Pumpkin, especially pumpkin oil, is actually local to this region. It's, they're famous for it. Um, they put pumpkin oil even on ice cream, apparently, and, and on salads and on everything. And I think they have vanilla coating and cinnamon. I don't think I've ever had a candy seed. Mmm. Mm. He says like Christmas, especially really? because of the cinnamon. Yeah, I didn't think that would be so good. I feel like obviously you don't really taste the pumpkin seed that much. It's mostly like the outside, but actually you do taste it. Yeah, it's good. Do you prefer almonds? Or... Yeah, and he let us taste the cashew and an almond and those were delicious. They were really high quality. Yummy. All right, now I'm going to try these. Mm. Yeah, these are super delicious. These are really light, really airy. 
I like the coating on these as well, but they're not as heavy as almonds. The almonds are also very sweet, but this doesn't feel as sweet. I feel like you could easily finish a whole bag of these. Yeah, this is really delicious. So one cool thing about Graz is that they have this little map that you can find kind of everywhere in the city and it gives you details of all the different Christmas markets. There's actually a path you can follow called the Krippenweg, which is the crib walk, I guess, Jesus's crib. And you could follow it all along the city and visit all the different Christmas markets. It also lists a couple of the different activities and different things that you can see. I think there's like a, a Ferris wheel. There's a little train too that kind of takes you along through some of the different paths. Ice skating and yeah, it's, it's just cool that it has all that information into one neat little package. So makes your trip to Graz very easy when you're trying to decide which market you want to go to and what kind of attraction you want to see. There isn't that much food here, but we saw something that caught my eye, which is a baked potato. And I think in this region or in Austria in general, they quite like potatoes for Christmas. At least that's what I heard. And we got sour cream and chives on top and bratwurst, or it said a special bratwurst, I don't know. It looks more red than a normal bratwurst. And he also put like sea salt and um, roasted, what is it, onions? Yeah, on top, and jalapenos and chili flakes. I'm not gonna eat the jalapenos because they're too spicy for me. Let's try this. It looks delicious. And this was seven euros, so really good deal. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. The sausage is really good, and it's obviously quite simple actually, but it has a lot of flavor, which is surprising. I think the salt makes it really good as well. Yeah, this is yummy. Mm, and it's a really nice portion. Mm. Yeah, I like it. I mean, of course, I love meat. I love potatoes. I love fried onions and jalapenos. So this sounds absolutely delicious to me. So let's give it a go. At this point, I have about like 25% function in my hands because it's so damn cold. So it took me like five minutes to get the perfect bite, but here it is. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm That sausage is really, really good. Really, really flavorful. I think you're right though. I feel like the salt adds a whole another dimension to it. There, I think it's also like sea salt, so it has a little bit of a crunch to it as well. You can definitely taste the herbs. It's really creamy from the, the herb sauce that uh, they put on it. I didn't really taste the jalapeno very much, but this whole combination is absolutely delicious. And again, for seven euros, you can't really beat that, especially at these kind of markets. But yeah, definitely worth a try. What's really amazing in Graz is that the whole city is decorated. And if you walk down the path, the Krippenweg, then you're basically just gonna walk down this super nice Christmas path with Christmas lights. Also, a thing I noticed about the Christmas market so far is that I feel like 85% of stands are alcohol. <laughs> we love alcohol. They're, they're all just punch and all these different drinks and there's not that much food and there's not much like other stuff so far. So that's, that's interesting. So we made it to Gradwein, which is a little town outside of Graz. We had to take the train for 10 minutes. They used to have a Krampuslauf in the middle of Graz, but it's been cancelled for multiple years due to Corona and then budgeting issues. So who knows if that's going to be back. But today here in Gradwein, there's supposed to be 2,500 people and we're way too early and it's still empty. Yeah, we're pretty much the only people here. We came about an hour and a half early. We were going to come even earlier, but luckily we didn't. We're losers. Yeah, we're total losers. We're, the only people that are actually here are the people from the town and people that are part of the Krampus groups. And they all have um, their own little clubs, I guess. And you can see them wearing the jacket with the logos on their back, which are really cool. I wish that we could get one, but we're not cool enough. We're not part of the club. But at least we have some hot mulled wine, kill some time, only four euros, which is pretty good. So probably have a couple of these in the next uh, two hours, hour and a half while we kill some time. Hopefully. Cheers. Were you a good boy? No. No? So Krampus gonna beat you. He's gonna beat me with a stick. It's gonna start soon. We're excited. Let's go. We've been sitting here for two hours.
Krampus beat up already. Krampus beat the shit out of us. <laughs> it hurts. It really It actually hurts. does hurt. We're back at the hotel, we're totally frozen, but the Krampus walk was totally fun and kind of crazy because they actually beat the crap out of us. And I didn't expect that, it really hurt. 
but <laughs> it was awesome. And the masks, they were really, really intricate and, and really impressive. Yeah, this is the kind of Christmas tradition that neither of us grew up with, even though she's German. So it was really cool to see it. We're both big fans of horror and horror films, so seeing all those crazy, unique costumes was amazing. So this was a big bucket list item for us, so we're so happy we got to go. But that is it for our timing brats. We had a great time when we were here, but of course, Make sure that you like this video, give us a comment, and subscribe if you liked it, because we had a blast. But that is it for now, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye. Merry Christmas.